It feels extraordinary. I, I really have to say, I, I don't get um, a dog in the hunt too often in terms of storylines. I feel like Shonda particularly, but all of our writers are, they have that gift and that's not a gift I have. Um, so I'm just happy to go on whatever adventure they cook up. But in the middle of campaigning uh, as Melly, something clicked and I just so much wanted it for her. I wanted her to be president and I don't think that's where the show was going. Um, but then the world changed and the circumstances have found her in the Oval. And it's just a delight. I'm also so proud to be a part of there's so many female presidents on television right now and it's nice to be a part of acclimating our country to the idea of women being in power. We're a little bit behind the rest of the world in that regard and I know how much it meant to me to see Dennis Haysbert in office every week on 24 and when it comes into your home, you know, once a week, a few times a week, it just becomes something normal. Carrie Washington is one of the best humans on the planet and out of the many, many blessings that this job has rained down on all of us, it's, um, well, getting to love each other, this whole family, cast, crew, writers, staff, everybody, but um, we have had the most indomitable, tireless leader in Carrie. You know, number one on the call sheet sets the tone of everything and if they're entitled or aloof or unhappy, but she's none of those things. She has always thought of herself as the quarterback of the team, and she is. She, you know, I remember she was on um, a press junket for Django, like our second season, and I got a text from her when she was in Italy to make sure I had shoes to wear to a brunch that was truly not important. You know, I mean, she, she knows, she cares, she's in it with you, and she will be just a lifelong friend. She's really loud. Uh, she's very tiny, um, but she is, t like I say, tireless, and she's l louder than you can even fathom. So when you've been working 17 hours and everybody's at the, like just wilted and in a corner and like you know sipping cocoa, she's like, "People, okay, we can do this." I mean, she's right there and huge, and you can't do anything but smile and giggle and you know stand up and do your work. No, I'll never be ready to say goodbye to these people. Um, gosh, or this story. I'm so interested in all of them. I'm so invested. But uh, it's, you know, it's nice, I guess, to leave the party while everyone still loves you. And we are sad all the time, but just really delighting in this extra year. You know, Shonda, we asked Shonda at the beginning of the year if the show were going to wrap up the way she thought it was going to wrap up. And she was like, no, I thought it would end at the inauguration. This is a whole extra year because the world changed. And so we are just savoring, savoring every little extra that we get. I've been so lucky to have this job for a few years now and we, we spend a lot of time under lights like these and in very sort of uh, old dusty uh, studios and I thought that it was just a natural thing that I was having a lot of trouble with my eyes. I'd go through bottle after bottle of artificial tears and I switched contact brands frequently and I just thought, well, maybe, you know, between where I am and just getting a little older, maybe this is just what your eyes do. But then I had a really simple conversation with my eye doctor, Dr. Shami, and she told me that, no, this, you know, let's discuss this because this might be a condition called chronic dry eye. And it turns out I got that diagnosis of having chronic dry eye and that there are treatment options. And what's working great for me is Restasis Multidose. Sure. Um, the one that comes to mind is, uh, oh, you have to, whatever, if you ever say anything mean, you always have to backpedal a little. So you have to say, oh, bless her heart. She is dumb as a bag of hair. <laughs>